All right, so there's this rumor going around that if you have Ubuntu and you run into a problem with it, that there's no support for it. That's a lie. There is so much support for the Linux community, whatever. And there's a million distros for Linux. We just like Ubuntu because it's very popular and it's very easy to use. But people say that there's no support for it. And that kind of shocked me. So I looked around for it because I had a couple problems when I started out with it a while ago because I'm a nerd. So I kind of got into the Ubuntu thing before everyone else started doing that. But anyway, no, I'm not a hipster. I hope I'm not. Anyway. But there's so much support for it, it's absolutely amazing. And all you have to do is look for it. There's a million different websites on how to do it, and some someone probably had the same exact problem as you and just fixed it. Because a lot of the people that use Ubuntu are the people that develop Ubuntu. There's more people working on Linux distributions than there are on Microsoft and Apple combined. And they work on it for free. Granted, they might not spend, spend as much time but it makes for such a better way to go about things. Open source is amazing. And here's a good example. So here, I've got my web browser open. And if you look right there, I'm on Google, because everyone uses Google. You can use mama.com or Bing if you really choose to, whatever you want. But anyway, if you look, if you search Ubuntu community, look, ubuntu.com slash community. And then it says community support. Oh my goodness. That's amazing, isn't it? Community support overview. Overview, web forms, mailing list, IRC. You can actually chat with people. Maybe they're not professionals, but they probably have the answers you want. Launchpad, which is a pretty cool program. And then local language support, in case you're bilingual and you're not really good at English, for whatever reason. But anyway, you can access all their free documentations. There's live support chat. Whoa, who does that for free? Nobody except Ubuntu and maybe a couple of other Linux districts. Web forums. There's there's a million of these Ubuntu forums, as is there are for every other Linux distro. Mailing lists, um, Ubuntu development support and discussions and everything. They take place on their IRC ch IRC channels, and you can actually just sign up for all of that stuff. Just get it sent to you if you don't feel like joining in with that chat. And then it says. Uh, Launchpad, add a technical support related question to the search field on Launchpad. So, if you click on that, that's going to take you to a link, and it says launchpad.net questions and answers. And I could type in a question, but I don't need to because Ubuntu didn't have a problem when I installed it. Here's another neat thing about Ubuntu Desktop Edition. If you've got a desktop computer like that machine right there, then that's, you'll be running the same thing I am. Netbook, if you have one of those really tiny cheap computers that came with Windows XP after Windows 7 came out, you can put that on it. Business, lots of businesses use Ubuntu. Um, there's also, again, support, we're in the support. Look, you can get training for this, services and security notices, projects about Ubuntu. Ubuntu's um, updated and maintained by a company called Canonical based in South Africa. And then it says derivatives of Ubuntu, like Moon Linux. I know that one. And then again with community, they even have a code of conduct. So anyway, there's, as you just saw there, there's a million reasons to use Ubuntu and there's a million support things in case you do run into a problem and you probably won't. I'm just gonna tell you this right now, you, you really won't. There's not, there's not much in the way of problems with it at all. Because, I don't know, it's just amazing. Bye.